Welcome to another episode of One on One Notary Coaching with me. My name is Mark. I teach the loan signing system. I teach signing agents how to make money as loan signing agents. Did you know that every single home in America has to have a notary close? Hope everybody had an amazing holiday. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. I appreciate every one of you so, so much. Back to the notary coaching. I'm here every single Monday to help you build a signing agent business to do the best I can to help you with your signing agent needs right now. The way this thing works is simply add the hat add button right here. Join on, get on here with me live. I'm gonna take people first come, first serve. Remember, when I call on you, make sure you're in a quiet place. Make sure you're not driving. Make sure you have good Wi-Fi connection because we are live with hundreds and hundreds of signing agents. So, hello, everybody. Happy holidays, and let's get this party started. Oh, Michelle. There we go. Hello. hello. We are now one for three. What's up, girl? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So, tell me what your name, Michelle. where you are in your process, uh, and, and what city state you're calling from. Okay, so my name is Michelle. I am from Morgan Hill, California. And I'm so sorry, what was the other one? Uh, and where are you on your journey, girl? Talk to me. I've actually been a notary since 2008. Awesome. And I have been alone signing since 2012. Love it. And I just have to say, I still have not gotten that 10K. I think my biggest month was 9,600. Okay. Thanks to you. But I just, you know, the direct thing I'm having issues with. Okay, well, let's talk about that, girl. First off, 9,600 is amazing, right? Our job is to make sure that we take in every moment to our goal, right? So yeah. just because you didn't get to 10K doesn't mean 96 is not amazing, girl. So everybody, can we give Michelle a little hand clap down below and say congratulations on a $9,600 month? That is amazing. So, I mean, look, I mean, honestly, some of my coaching right now is before we get to your other questions is, you know, building a business is all about having a proper mindset through the entire journey. So remember that you're taking care of yourself mentally by saying, look, 96 is amazing. It's not, oh, darn it, I didn't make 10K, right? Okay. And because that, because we want momentum to build upon itself. And so if you go into the next month saying, oh, dang it, I didn't hit 10K versus like, holy crap, I did 9,600. That springboards you with momentum. Does that make sense? So it's such an important little mindset trick that, you know, successful people have. It's, yes, you should be a little disappointed that you didn't reach your goal, but also happy that you did X. That makes sense? Yes. Okay. So we're going to get you to 10K, girl. Don't even worry about it. I want you on stage with all the other 10Kers at conference. Okay. That um, cool. So you're a loan signing system student, correct? Yes. Okay, cool. So um, let's talk about the direct, right? I mean, the direct business game, Michelle, is all, again, mindset. You know, what makes another student do $20,000 a month versus your 96 is usually just comes down to letting momentum create momentum. Mm -hmm. Understanding that you're not going to bat 1,000, right? I don't know if you, did you watch the On the Road I did with Autumn Nicole, one of our students out in North Carolina? She did 17 grand a month. Okay. okay. So she did 17 grand a month, right? And so on the, on the road, I'm like, yeah. well, how'd you make 17 grand a month? You know what she told me? I went to 52 different title companies. So my point is that's the secret. Okay. The secret is not getting discouraged. The secret is understanding nobody can hire you if they don't have your phone number. Mm -hmm. And so the best part is in the interview, maybe watch it this weekend or something, but you know, she goes, Mark, I went to 52 different title companies and only four use me. Wow. The mindset is that clicking. Now, what I will tell you, is of the four offices, there's like four escrow officers in each office. But my point is, so that doesn't mean she has four escrow officers using her. It means four offices using her. But the point I'm trying to make is she had to go to 52 different offices to find four that she got business from. Okay. So you, you can't make this assumption that, oh, Bill Zanunga, Lawrence Asadri, Kim Senate, some of the big California hitters, Mm -hmm. are any better than you, they've just gone to more companies and, set, and, and announced that they're a signing agent. So that's all it comes down to. At your point, it's more of a mental roadblock of saying, look, I can't bat a thousand. And frankly, four out of 52, I mean, what's the math on that? Less than 10% less than of people are using her. So if you just understand that at this point of your journey, it's all a numbers game and not getting discouraged from that numbers game as well, you get to that 10 grand. I think you have a little bit of expectation. Well, I should be batting 40% or 60%. And that's just setting you up for a little bit of discouragement because no one bats 60%. Right. 
right? right. So all I want you, and, and that's kind of the coaching I gave you early on is, is being more appreciative of the little moments because that's how you create momentum. Mm -hmm. See, momentum comes from like getting excited about little wins and the little wins lead you to like, okay, I can do this. Let's go. Let's mm -hmm. keep going. Let's keep pushing. I mean, you're in Morgan Hill, so you can hit Gilroy, Salinas, San Jose, Watsonville. That's right, girl, Central Coast in the house. <laughs> um, so I, I went to school in Salinas, by the way, just in case oh, you didn't know that. I went to Hart now. Um, but the point I'm trying to make is, you know, keep the right mindset, Michelle. That's all it is at this point. You know, because I want you to get to the signing service level. Right. And the same thing's going to happen again at the signing service level. You mm -hmm. mean, Mark, mm -hmm. a lot of students who go from where you are to a signing service will email me, man, Mark, like I, I still can't get people to like transfer over from the current signing service. And they go, well, remember when you built your business, how you had the same frustrations. So my point is it's going to happen as you scale, but the key is getting mentally strong, mentally prepared for the journey, which is look, if you're closing more than 20% of people, Michelle, you're winning. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? I think a lot of people think I need to be closing 40 or 50. Mm -hmm. You're doing, if you're doing more than, if you, if every 10 title companies, you get two to use you, you're winning. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay, so all it is, is a, is a mindset shift, hopefully. Yeah. So going into 2022, is just realizing, oh, look, if I get two or three title companies out of 10, you're winning. Yeah. <laughs> like you're actually crushing it. <laughs> because Autumn would have loved a 20% closing ratio on her way to 17,000. She now has a signing service out in North Carolina. She's doing like 50 grand a month. But the only difference between Autumn and any of the students is she didn't get discouraged that four out of 50 used her. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? And usually as you're building, it's more of a mindset toughness mm -hmm. that comes as you're scaling. And so, girl, you're as good as it gets. I just need you to, there's a little tweak to the mindset and just keep doing it. Because I honestly, that's the difference between a 5K signing agent and a 10K. It's the idea of like, look, I can't bat 80%. Yeah. And you want to, I get it. And, and you know, and it sucks when you walk in and you, you do all this work and you're pitched perfect and, and you have the best goodie bag and it just falls flat, but that's just part of the journey. You know what I mean? Um, anything else I can help you with today? Um, I think that's it. I know girl, yeah, girl, look, I have no doubt you're gonna be 10K. I have no doubt you're gonna start a huge signing service. I think the best part about this coaching call is just really trying to tweak the mindset as you go into 2022. Mm. Right. It, it's look, if you're getting, if you're batting 20%, you're like winning. <laughs> it's, it's hard to like not compare to. Like, yes. I think it's so hard. Yes. You know, my favorite saying is, you know, comparison's a thief of joy. Mm -hmm. Right. Part of being mentally strong is understanding your thoughts. Right. And the first step of personal growth is being aware of what you're thinking. So I love that you did that. So what I heard is someone who's on their journey of personal growth, right? You're like, Mark, it's so hard to compare. I love it. So the next time you have a comparing thought, it's your time to like, okay, let it pass, let it go, clap for the person and just realize we're on our own journey. You know what I mean? Because what happens when we compare, I'll wrap up with this because it's a great conversation, is the problem with comparing isn't actually the comparing. The problem is when you compare is the moment you take your eyes off of your road. The moment you take your eyes off of your road, you're not moving forward. So the moment we compare, actually, it's not the comparing that gets me, gets me, gets me wanting to teach you guys. It's the fact that once you look right, you're not looking at your own journey. Mm -hmm. Because the moment you put effort into something that's not building your business, your business literally isn't growing, right? Mm -hmm. And so the key to not comparing is just have, it's like, like a negative thought. You just gotta let it pass through. Mm -hmm. It's like, cool. And I think I made a post on the Saturday about like, or the real about negative thoughts yesterday is like the key to negative thoughts isn't not having them. Yeah. Right. The key is letting it pass through. And that's the same with comparison. Like we want to compare ourselves, but we have something like, er, just let it pass through. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people think like, I got to start having comparative thoughts. Like, no, that's, that's not real. <laughs> You're setting yourself up for failure. The key is when you have those thoughts, to keep moving. Here, I'm gonna end with this with you because I know you're doing like, you have like 14 coals in the fire. You ready? Because I see what you're slanging, girl, on the side. <laughs> so here's what I'm gonna tell you is the moment, you, the moment you're not focusing on your journey is the moment you're not building a business. So if you're trying to mentor and teach others, you're not building a business for yourself. So it makes a lot of students get in this trap where they're like, look, I wanna start monetizing this way. And it's like, stop monitoring. You're making less money by taking your eyes off of your road than you are on the other side of the road. Mm 
Does that make sense? And so all of students are like, just I'm like, cool, you made $100, but you could have made $10,000 if you would have spent that hour marketing your business. Right. So, you know, I get a lot of students like you who want to like, oh, I got a notary course. I'm like, well, what are you doing to make 500 bucks versus making 5,000 bucks? Mm -hmm. Because if you're spending an hour over here, it's not reward in, effort out, meaning that if you spend an hour marketing, you're going to get more reward than spending an hour making $100. And that's a scarcity mindset. Does that make sense? You're trying to soak up, you're trying to, you're trying to, you're trying to roll up all the dollars instead of seeing the big picture. Yeah. And the big picture is in a $20,000 a month signing service. The big picture is working, making money when you're not working. You're still trying to take, you're still trying to exchange dollar for time. And I don't want you to do that anymore. Okay, that's not how you get rich. It's not how you make money. Right. You, make by, you make money by leveraging you, which by the way, is a signing service. Okay. And so understanding that, you know, we got to stop doing everything else, distracting you focus on your business. Your first focus should be to get to 10 K your next focus should be starting a signing service. Anything outside of that is it's hurting your income. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? It does. Stop folks. Start focusing on your journey. Girl. I'm so proud of you, girl. <laughs> I hope you know, I see what all you students are doing. I'm like, you know, I'm like everybody I'm seeing. And I think sometimes, you know, when you, you know, your big students um, start getting a little unfocused, that's why you have a scale. By the way, I'm, I think you know Angel Team Signing. She kind of had the same moment too. She's like, oh, $50, I'll coach you. I'm like, for $50 versus getting a new client that can pay you $5,000, where's your time better spent? Does that make sense? So, you know, it's called opportunity cost, Michelle. So you got to make, you got to be asking yourself, is the effort I'm putting in equaling the mass amount of money coming out? Mm -hmm. And for right now, that's building and scaling a signing agent business. You're at $9,600 a month. Can we give her a round of applause at $9,600 a month? That's incredible. Thank you. Next step is 10K. Next step is signing service. Anything that, that, that stops that is costing you future money, which you have to be able to see. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Cool. Was this, a, was this a valuable coaching call? Absolutely. Thank you. All right, you. girl. Hey, I'm proud of you. All right, I'll see you at the 10K club, no doubt in my mind. Keep pushing, all right? All right. All right, bye. I love this conversation because I think it helps people in all different parts of their journey is, you know, sometimes the best thing I think out of sight of that conversation is, you know, she's becoming a little distracted by comparison and becoming distracted by outside things that aren't moving her business going. So Michelle, I'm so proud of the growth you made. Um, look at all of these congratulations right below. $9,600 is incredible. Um, so I hope everybody got some a benefit out of that. That was a little bit longer of a coaching call than I usually have, but there's so much fire in there. Uh, but Michelle, I'm so freaking proud of you. Um, and let's keep going. Okay, so Sophia, you're up next, girl. Let's get this party started. Hi, everybody. My name is Mark Wills. And um, if you're watching this right now live, Sophia, what up, what up, what up, what up? Hey, I'm going to start dancing. Hey, oh. I got my That's little awesome. scooter right in front of me. So I really can't school, dance school. that much. But like, you know, I don't know. Like, school, school. Go. <laughs> All right. So tell everybody, tell everybody your name, uh, where you're from, and let's get into some coaching. Okay. So I'm Sophia. I'm from Washington, D.C. And, um... Last week was really busy for me, like, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, like running around. Oh, my God, I got to drop this off. My issue is, or my question is, the weekends are really, really quiet. Mm -hmm. The weekends and Monday are really, really quiet. And I'm going through, you know, the course again on the weekends. I'm, I'm, you okay, know. I'm going to stop you real quick. I'm going to stop you real quick. So how long have you been a signing agent? More or less. Months. <laughs> one <laughs> okay so uh, that that i know i knew the answer to that girl that's why i asked and so you know what you're doing again is comparing your journey kind of like michelle and i love that michelle was very vulnerable with saying like she, it's so she's the last student before you was like i compare my journey to everybody else that's what you're right. doing girl like honestly okay. you can't be like you've been a month in and you're like how come I'm not busy seven days a week the answer is because you're a month in <laughs> okay. so my point is you got to be patient Patience and effort builds this business. Remember, there's no such thing as slow days. There is marketing days or signing days. As, okay. as you're growing your business, if you're, nothing frustrates me more than a signing agent who's been, I'm slow. I'm like, it's not slow, you're new. Like, okay. You shouldn't be busy every single day because 
with that mindset, so if you're setting yourself up for failure and discouragement, discouragement kills more businesses than anything else. But the problem is this is self-inflicted discouragement. You're expecting to be busy like a signing agent has been doing this for a year. Okay. Like, why are you doing that to yourself? Like, be proud of yourself that you have four, you're only a month in. You're busy as heck during the week. Okay, so you just need to build more relationships for weekend business. Like, next topic? So, <laughs> <laughs> like, my coaching to you is stop comparing your journey to everybody else, number one. Okay? Okay. Number two is remember, there's no such thing as slow days in the beginning. It is, I'm either doing a signing or I'm building relationships, which is also marketing, okay? Mm -hmm. That's it, like that's it. So you will get to the point where your weekends are busy, but that might take six months. But okay. thinking that you should be as busy as a veteran that's been in this a year is setting yourself for failure and it's gonna push you out of the business versus keeping you in so you actually have something real in a year and a half. You know, this business time make, it might take a year for you to build a consistent six, eight, ten thousand dollar month business. Okay, like this is a business. Okay, right. So I don't want you to get discouraged on the way there, my point is. Okay, girl, you are freaking crushing it. That's what you should be excited <laughs> about. Instead of complaining about how you don't know, work and uh, work, congratulate yourself on how you're a month in right, and you're this right. busy. You see the difference in mindset? Because yeah. when you start appreciating how busy you are during the week, that makes you work harder when you're slower. See, business is about creating momentum. I can't say that enough. My best analogy is losing weight, right? Like New Year's is coming up. We get a workout, a new diet, and then that first week we lose a pound. And then what happens that next week? You're like, yo, I lost a pound. And so guess what? You go to the gym a little bit more. You eat a little bit better. Then that third week, you're like, oh my God, I lost five pounds. But you see how the momentum builds itself? Yeah. That's how this business needs to be. So instead of seeing your first month as a failure because you haven't worked on weekends, you should be seeing like, um, I've never been a signing agent before and I've already made two grand. Right. You see the right. difference in mindset. The fact you made two grand with never being in the business, that should motivate you to work harder, not discourage you to work less. Right now okay. it's discouraging you to work less versus encouraging you to work more. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So it the does. only way to lose weight is to get in the gym, eat better, keep working, right? You got to create that momentum. The only way to build a big business is when it's slow, no such thing as those are just marketing days. Okay. But girl, you have no Sundays on the weekend. You should be out to open houses meeting real estate agents. Okay. It's not okay. slow, you're just not working. Does that make right. sense? That makes That's a little sense. bit of tough love coaching, but you know I got to tell you the truth, right? Oh, no, I love it. It's, it's Good. So, <laughs> my, you know, my point is that like, it's not slow. You're just not working because if you were like, hey, I'm busy every week in marketing, you'd be like, Mark, I'm slammed seven days a week. Okay. You're just taking the time. You're choosing on the days you don't have any signings not to do anything, and that's creating some lack of momentum when you should be like, okay, cool, I got – no signings? Well, shoot, I, I just Googled all the open houses in my area. I'm gonna go holler at some real estate agents this weekend. And now you come with me on Monday and you're like, Mark, I've been so busy. You're just doing something else that's busy, not doing signings. Okay. Does that make sense? So yep. girl, you're, I, here's what I want from you, okay? I'm gonna end with this. You are, I, I want you to put your freaking head down for the next 60 days. That's 90 days of in the business. And I want you to tell me after 90 days how amazing your business is. But the weekends you have off, you got to be hustle. You got to be meeting new people, create relationships. Take the script I give you in the course, go mm -hmm. to an open house and say that script. Okay. I can do everything for you, but walk in the open house with you. Right. Okay. I can yep. teach you everything but effort. You're doing amazing with the business you are getting. I now need you to do amazing with the time that you have off, which is just marketing. Okay. Okay. And yep. I'm so proud of you. I, you hear me on that? I'm so Thank proud you, of Mark. you. Like, dude, <laughs> I, you've never been in the business and you made two grand in 30 days? Like, stop. I know. Insane, right? Insane. <laughs> but you got to ride the momentum, believe in yourself, and keep building the business, okay? And, I'll, and talk to me in 90 days and tell me where your business is at. I'm going to see then, you in 90 days. Like, Mark, I got more direct business I have to do with. I want to start a sign <laughs> Okay? <laughs> So I go get them. You're amazing. And then don't let the discouragement prevent that momentum. Okay. Got it. All right, girl, let's go. <laughs> right, let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love, you know, the, the running theme with the two ladies so far, in my opinion,
is comparisons that thief enjoy. Like comparing your journey to another signing agent is literally just setting yourself up discouragement, preventing you from creating momentum. Our job is to root for the other person and know our time's gonna come, right? You're gonna clap for everybody else and know because of the effort that I'm doing today, my business is gonna be better tomorrow. We're all on a different journey. Look, look, sometimes people come into this business because their spouse is a realtor. Sometimes they come into the business because their sister is the, the biggest escrow officer in town. So you don't know the behind the scenes of some of the other big hitters or people who look like they scaled super quick. Your job is to focus on efforts every day that what's inside the course. You need to be doing something that's inside the course every single day to move your business forward and stop comparing your journey to somebody else's. I'm telling you, let's go, baby. I'm so happy for everybody here. Happy Thanksgiving weekend. Again, if you're watching this live, I only have one sale a year. Cyber, Cyber Monday, 20% off. If you're an LSS student, you have all the conference recordings that come on. What are you doing? The moment you think you know everything is the moment your competition passes you up. Only one sale a year. If you're sitting a signing agent, think about being a signing agent on the fence. Get the course, man. There's a money back guarantee. Let's go. All right, who's next? Uh, let's go to, uh, let's get a gentleman up on here, KB. Um, all right, remember, uh, if you're watching this for the very first time, my name is Mark. I teach a loan signing system. L, congratulations. KB, what up, dog? Yo, what's up, Mark? How are you? Hey, 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 congratulations on your first signing. Thank you. Hey, everyone, KB got his first signing over the holiday weekend. Let's drop him a round of applause. Thank that you. is, I, how's that first signing that feel? <laughs> how's that first signing feel? Um, it was good, but I just, uh, they sent the documents late, so it was kind of, rushing through everything and it was cold as hell <laughs> so. yeah yeah look 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 when you're a brand new signing agent let me tell this to everybody right now I mean, i teach this in the course kb so make sure you're remembering everything right yeah the reason that there is truly business for everybody is because there will be appointments that the veteran signing agents turn down so okay. the reason it's last minute is because the veteran signing agents are like yo that's too last minute for me yeah. so you should be excited you got a last minute signing because if everybody had three hours, there would be no business for new signing agents. So the True. next two or three signings you get may also be last minute, but that's what makes this business beautiful. Does that make sense? Because yep. if every signing had five hours to get ready for, there would be no business for you. Does that make sense? Yeah, just, so again, it it's just trying to felt teach like you my heart was out of my chest. Yeah, I'm trying to teach you perspective, right? The, 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 you're going to get another signing. It's gonna be last minute, but that's amazing because if it wasn't last minute, you wouldn't get the business. And then you make your reputation on the last minute signings and that will start getting you the signings that are two hours, three hours, four hours away. So just be patient on your journey. Understand okay. that this is a blessing that you got a last minute appointment. Yeah. The next two or three might also be last minute, but you should be thinking, wow, I'm so glad it is because I'm happy the veteran signing agent turned it down. Sure. Does that make sense? Yep. So you're getting the opportunity. So uh, this is a coaching call. What can I help you right now with your business? Talk uh, to me. The, uh, well, the only thing I think that took the longest for me was the journal entries because there was almost like 12 or more yeah. uh, notarizations. It was a refinance, but it was close to almost 200 pages. Yeah, cool. So, so look, all, so the here, let, me, journal let me stop entries, you real quick. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me stop you real quick. Yeah. Uh, I got to be as efficient with these conversations as I can. Again, sure. I heard a new signing agent comparing themselves to another signing agent. You sure. said the words, my notary journals took too long. Dude, this was your first signing. Do you that's think true. that's going to get quicker as you do more? It is. Of course. So, so yeah. you got to change the mindset, KB. That's my coaching right now. Okay. No, but uh, I was just asking if you have any had any tips on how no 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 hold on hold on my tip is my tip is let experience be the best teacher that's okay. my tip my tip is the mindset sure. nothing's going do you play sports have you ever played any sports yeah okay what do you play give me give me sport what do you play <laughs> i grew up in india so cricket <laughs> okay cricket cool cool cricket so you know you can't be good at hitting a cricket ball until you've taken 400 swings yeah. But yet you're asking me to make you a better cricket player when you've only taken one swing. Sure. 
Understood. Does that mindset make sense? So you have to understand that you're learning something new for the first time. Be patient with the learning curve. The reason I'm not going to teach you any tricks is because then I'm teaching you to take shortcuts. If I teach you to take shortcuts, you're going to mess up. Yeah. Eventually, you're going to learn how to take shortcuts on your own because experience teaches you that. Sure. But asking me to teach you shortcuts is asking you to mess up on a signing. And I don't want to do that. I'd rather you focus on creating your own rhythm, creating your own sense of, oh, this is where I can cut corners. So okay. the, the, what I love about today's coaching with everybody, today's coaching is all mindset. Your okay. mindset's just in the wrong spot. You're thinking that you should have tips and tricks that 100 signing, age, 100 signing, signing agents should have at signing number one. Do you yeah. see where that's setting yourself up for failure? So yeah. just be excited about what you've done. Be excited you did first signing with no errors. And yeah. understand that like cricket, you're not going to get good at cricket until you take a thousand swings. Sure. Right? No, you're I just want to do also like be thankful to the whole LS group because they answered so many of my questions over the, in the later in the evening, in the morning. I'm just so grateful to be part of the whole group. And I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that helped me out through my first signing. I appreciate you all. Oh, I hope everybody heard. I mean, there's a couple hundred people on right now. Hope everybody heard that, that he's thanking the loan signing system community. The loan signing system community is the best part about the loan signing system. I was, I was just overwhelmed by the response I got. And I was like almost getting emotional. I'm like, oh. everybody's like helping me out. I'm just, it was just really great. I'm, I'm, I felt blessed. Oh man. I love to hear it. the community is the best part about the loan signing system. And, you know, you know, what I told you on messenger is, you know, one day you're going to pay that floor to somebody else. And that's the loan yep. signing system way is, you know, I was helped. So I'm going to reach back and help somebody else. And so, yep. you know, I love that you spoke about how high the community is because the community is the best part of the loan signing system. And I yep. love that you're almost going to get overwhelmed with emotion and, and yeah, gratitude. because everybody was like responding to every question I asked without judgment or anything like that. They just answered what I needed to know. If I was right or wrong, they told me. I was like, okay, I got this. I'm okay. So it was it was awesome. I'm almost going to start crying. Like, it's really. Yeah, I know. I'm getting to cry <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really, that, you know, I think me and you text about it, too. Is You know, that's the way it should be, right? It's like people should be helping people. And um, our community is really big on helping everybody. We're, comp we're not competition. We're colleagues. <laughs> I'm so yeah. excited that you felt that from the community because we are a huge community with love and guidance and compassion because we are all brand new at some point. So uh, I love you gave out a shout out to the community. So I hope everybody here who's part yeah, of the community is that guy. <laughs> so I'm gonna end with this thank dude, you. mindset change, be grateful. It, speed's gonna come with repetition. Speed's gonna come with experience, um, but I'm proud of you, man. Make sure you follow up with gratitude with who gave you the signing. Yep. Um, and then I'm here if you need anything else, brother. No, that's all. Thank you so much. I'd rather be blessed. Guy, man, much. I love it. My biggest takeaway from that, um, my biggest takeaway from that is, you know, the loan signing system community, for those who don't know, is the best part of the loan signing system. We are not competition with each other's colleagues. We should share what works. We should encourage each other. We shouldn't make someone feel bad because they had to ask a stupid question. The only questions that are stupid is the question that's not asked. So the loan signing system community is not me. It's all of you. So thank you for being part of the loan signing system community. Thank you for treating each other with respect and compassion and kindness and empathy, because that is the loan signing system. Way. When I set out and built this community, I said, I'm going to build it with people who care about each other, people who realize that there's business for all of us. So if you're on the outside right now looking and saying there's business for me, yes, there is business for you. And every single person in our community understands that. Um, I'm so glad you're here. For those who are brand new to this Instagram community, my name is Mark Wills. I teach signing agents, signing agents how to make money as loan signing agents. Um, I only have one, uh, I only have one sale a year. It's right now. Use the discount code Cyber2021. Click the link in my bio. Only one sale a year. Be part of our community. Um, okay, cool. So let's go to the next person. Uh, uh, let's go to Judy. Judy's been there for a minute. 
Judy, hello, everybody. I we had a blessed Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for the Thanksgiving wishes with me and my family. Thank you for all the... Oh, what up, June? Hi, how are you, Mark? I am so good. How are you, girl? I'm good. I'm good. Um, I'm like trying to stay positive because of mindset, right? Yes. yes. But um, I'm all... not No buts, sorry. No buts. But my question to you... Yes. <laughs> so I've been taking going over it and I finally finished it and so I did have one signing okay and that went pretty well uh and it was close to home so and they were so awesome now I'm getting signing services like uh well I'm getting invites from signing services yep. and of course I know I've, I've listened to the algorithm for snap dogs and so I'm, I know it's 10 seconds for texting and I'm responding as fast as possible and then I wait <laughs> right. Okay. So there's a couple things that I hear. Okay. A couple things that I hear. Um, so uh, I don't know where to start. Okay. I'm going to start back because there's some people on here who don't understand how it works. Let me teach you how it works. Okay. So let's say you own the signing service. Okay. You own the signing service. You sent out a notification. Okay. Let's say you did that. And a signing agent responded like you with zero signings completed. Would you give that signing agent the signing? That's what, I, that's my question. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want you to think like a signing service owner. Would you give that signing agent the, the, the signing? No. So what would you like, what would you like from the signing agent? What would you want from the signing agent who has zero signings, but wants that signing aside? What would you want as a signing service owner? Call me and introduce so how come you haven't done that? Okay. So I've done, so I again, I pull snap docs. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So there's a couple more coaching moments. Okay. I need you to go back to the course two or three more times. Okay. okay. What's the, is snap docs a signing service? So that's where I was confused. I thought they were, but then I guess they're a database. For that's right. That's so in the course, I give you a list of databases. Okay. The database is not the signing service. Who is okay. the signing? Who is the signing service? Uh, the one who's using the database to notify you. So when I see First American, that's a title company, right? That's right. So, but remember, signing services, the Snapdoc signing order is just a database. Okay. Anyone can use it. Okay. So First American can use it. Old Republic Title can use it. Coast to Coast can use it. Sign on the X can use it. It's not only signing services. Okay. But remember in the course, so my best coaching right now is to go through the course five more times. So the, 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 it's not your fault that this is not sinking in because there's so much information. Have you ever read a book, finished the book, and been like, uh, what was in chapter one? Yeah. Okay. That's not your fault. You read the chapter, right? So my biggest coach in you is make sure you're going over the course three or four times. If you've been on the course two times, there is no way you remembered every single thing in the course. Got it. And this is proving to me that you've remembered not everything. And again, it's not your fault. And I'm not even saying you didn't go through the course. I'm just saying it's humanly impossible to remember everything in a 10 hour course going through it two times. Does that make sense? Right. So a lot of this, a lot of these questions would be answered if you would take the time to go back over the course. Because if you went over the database section, again, you would realize that I tell you, anyone can use the database. Okay. I would tell you that the database is just the database and not to call Snapdocs. So Snapdocs is like, I don't know who is using my platform. Does right. that make sense? So right. my coaching you is this, a couple things is um, go through the course again, okay? Yeah. Number two, is my coaching is you have a script I've given you. Okay. Yeah. You need to use that script and call the signing service, not the database or the title company. Whoever issued the appointment is who you need to call. Okay, good. And tell them why they should hire you. I've told you what to say. You just got to say it. Right. But then uh, number two is you got to know who to call. Right. That's why we're doing this coaching call, but also rewatch the course a few times. Does that make sense? So, but remember, if, and my best analogy to you students is what would you want to hear if you were going to, if you were going to assign an appointment to a brand new signing agent? Like, what would you want to hear? 
put yourself in the signing service owner or the title officer's shoe and have a conversation with the spouse or something like formulating that conversation. That's also called the script, by the way. But my point is a lot of you signing agents get a signing and you're like, well, how do I get a signing? I'm like, well, dude, you've done one signing. That's the answer. But if you put yourself in the signing service owner's shoe, what would you want to hear? That's the conversation. Does that make sense? Like, that's the conversation. Like, look, I know you see one signing under my belt, under my signing orders completed. I get that. But here's why you should give me that opportunity. Okay. Right? I, I gave you a script. I can't say that. I can't give you the talking points over Instagram. Make, ask that in the course. But the bigger point I'm trying to say is put yourself in the shoe of the signing service owner. Okay. What would I want to hear? What would I want from the signing uh, agent who's brand spanking new? And 90, 75% of our students were brand new, by the way. So they've all done the same journey you were doing. Okay. So most students coming in alone signing system are not from a signing agent background. So my point is you're not alone on this journey. Does that make sense? Makes sense. But the difference is, is the students who've been able to scale it, get it. I'm running a business. I probably wouldn't hire me either if all they were able to see is one signing completed. Sure. So they think to themselves, okay, I'm the signing service. I see one signing completed. What do, what would I want to hear? They mix that with the script that I give them. They pick up the phone and be like, yo, I see a signing just came over the, over the uh, airwaves mm -hmm. and this over the, my telephone. And this is why you should give it to me. Got it. Okay. That makes sense. Remember, you're running a business. You're not trying to win the lottery. Okay. That's the difference between loan signing system students and everybody else. Everybody else tries to win the lottery and they complain. So loan signing system students build a business. They look, look, I get you just sent this text message out to eight other people. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do something about that. And I'm going to pick up the phone. I'm going to call and I'm going to tell you why you should give me over the other eight people that you sent out to text to. That's called building a business. And that's what we do. Remember, I can tell you what to say. You have to go say it. So go back through the course, watch all the, and then I give you another course, another mo hour module on how the signing service picks notaries. Make sure you watch that. Okay. I give you a very brief coaching discussion on what 60 minutes covers. Make sure you rewatch that on why they pick signing agents over another signing agent, what they want to hear. That's okay. all in the course. Just make sure you go back in. But girl, I'm proud of you, girl. You got number one out of the way. Everybody, let's give her a round of applause for number one. <laughs> so, I mean, look, it, the, the goal for the rest of the year is to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Okay. Mm -hmm. That comes with repetition. Picking okay. up the phone, getting no, that stinks. I get it. But, you know, the signing agents who make a ton of money push through that, learn the way through that. And I, I'm, 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 I see big things coming out, you girl. And by the way, see all the clapping images with you down there below? Everyone's rooting for you, girl. I love LSS. Too. These guys are so, so supportive. I, I just love it. Thank you for creating this, Mark. Thank you for You're creating. You're so welcome. And thank you, for, thank you for trusting me. Be blessed. Have a good holiday season. You Bye. Too. Bye. You know, my, my biggest, my biggest takeaway from that conversation with Judy is remember, you know, this is speaking to loan signing system students is, you know, repetition is the mother of learning. You guys have, you know, a 10 hour course. You might need to go through that course two or three or four times before you pick up every single nuance. A lot of times signing agents take the course and they try to hit the ground running. That's like learning, try to, that's like trying to learn how to play basketball off of one hour of shooting hoops and trying to go into a game. So try to rein yourself in a little bit. Try to make sure you remember repetitions of mother learning, go in the course and rewatch it every single day. So repetitions of mother learning. Uh, I just wanna say thank you for being with me right now. For some of you guys who are brand new to this slide, my name is Mark Wills. I teach signing agents how to make money as loan signing agents. I only have one sale a year. It is right now, 20% off all the courses. If you're a current loan signing system student, get the conference series. Every single course, every single conference has been sold out is yours for 300 bucks and 20% off. I'm only telling you because I know it's going to add value to your business. I want to give you a little coaching right now. Okay, you ready? I want you to coach. I want you to hear me on this. It doesn't become sales when you believe in what you're selling. Let me say that one more time. It's not sales 
when you believe in what you're selling. Some people go, well, Mark, I feel, I feel like I'm annoying a title company. I feel like I'm scared to go tell people that I'm a signing agent. And the only reason is because you're not believing in what you're selling. You're not believing in you. The signing agents will go out and tell anybody that they're a signing agent believes in themselves. They know that they're the best product and opportunity for the realtor, for the lender, for the escrow officer. The reason I'm telling you to buy the conference series and to buy the loan signing system, because I am belief in what I am selling. I want you to do the same thing with you. You're an amazing signing agent. I need you to believe it here, right here. Because when you do, you're no longer selling anything. You're providing value. I need to get you to the point where you don't feel embarrassed or shy about telling your realtor you're a signing agent because you know in your heart that you're the best option for them as a signing agent. Understanding what you're good at is the key to self-belief. I have no problem telling you right now that if you're not a loan signing system student, that you should be a loan signing system student. I'm not selling you anything because I truly believe in the product that I offer. I don't feel guilty or sales. I don't want you to do the same thing. That's my coaching. My coaching is when you realize that you are good at what you do, when you realize that you are the best option for a mortgage professional, you're no longer in sales. You're in the value adding business. So it's never about sales when you believe in what you have to offer. You're the best signing agent. Yes, you right there. You are the best signing agent. Look, I'm going to end with this before I get back into coaching. I am giving you coaching. And that is we watch people sign their names over and over and over. That's it. We watch people sign their name over and over. Or what we do is simple at its core. Is it ever so important? Absolutely. But the coach I'm trying to tell you is don't overthink what we do. You're offering a service of watching somebody sign their name 150 times. Believe in your ability to watch people sign their names because I do. Whatever narratives you're telling yourself, whatever narratives you're saying, well, I'm not good enough. The, the, good enough in our business is saying sign here, date there, initial there. You are good enough at doing that. So whatever narratives you have before, you got to stop and start telling yourself new narratives. If you can tell yourself bad stories, you can tell yourself good stories. Believe in yourself. When you believe in your product, it is not selling let me say that one more time. When you believe in what you are offering somebody, it's not selling. It is adding value. If you're not a loan signing system student, get the course. If you're a loan signing system student, get the conference series. Learn from $30,000 a month signing agent teaching you how to build their business. It is not sales when you believe in what you're offering. Okay, so let's go to someone else now. Let's get a man up, a gentleman up here, Sean. You were up. Talk to me, brother. How's everybody doing today? Let's go. Man, I get so excited helping entrepreneurs build the bits of shots. What's up? Dude, first off, I need you to pull over. I am. I'm okay? getting off the right now. I'm getting off the freeway. All right, brother. While you're pulling over, why don't you tell everybody your name, where you're from? Sure. My name is Sean Moshreffi. I live out in L.A., work the greater L.A. market, and I've been an LSS student for about a year and a half now. Look at that, baby. I love it. Okay, so um, again, please be safe. Yeah, let's, we'll talk about, um, let's talk about let's talk about where you're on your journey, bro. What can I? What kind of coaching can I give you right now? One on one. Talk to me. Appreciate it. So my question kind of involves marketing and referrals. I have oh, good. I have a lot of clients. Not a lot. I mean, I have a couple of escrow officers yeah. that I've known for a long time that I've turned into kind of my base referrals, yeah. base kind of my my base work. Um, one of them was giving me solid, consistent work, and I, I'm afraid I stepped on her toes. And I, and I want to make sure that I kind of approach it the right way, and if not, how I need to go about it. So I have been getting 18, 19, 20 deals a month from her. I mean, I was just getting solid, consistent business. And then at one point, about six, seven months into my working with her on the notary side, I asked her for referrals if she knew any other, you know, officers that work with the company that she could kind of, you know, get me out to. And ever since then, my business with her has really slowed down. So I don't know if I, if I rubbed her the wrong way by asking her. Um, if, if I didn't, kind of maybe the language I use, how mm -hmm. to go asking the people I, I get business from now for more business without feeling, making them feel alienated, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a great question. Wow, this is a next level question. And look, two things I'm going to say on this. Referrals are the best way to grow your business. So your head's in the right spot a million percent. 
Number two is what I recommend is people like being on a journey with you. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is as you're building, this is why building relationships is so important outside of, I do a great job not missing signatures, uh, 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 initials and dates. So what I try to teach you in the course is when you're going in dropping off docs, you should be trying to build an authentic relationship. Like, Hey, how was your weekend? How are your kids? Hey, this weekend, I'm going to go wine chasing with my wife. You got to bring them in. So the way you bring somebody in is just being a real human and you got to stop seeing them as money, but seeing them as a person. Now, the point I'm trying to make is once they, once you're in on a personal relationship, now they want to help you. Now the referrals is easier. Does that make sense? So my coaching is my more, I'm going to teach you what to say specifically, but I, there was an underlying coaching that I needed to coach you on. And the underlying coaching is make sure that you're really trying to build authentic relationships because then they're helping out Sean, my friend, not Sean, the signing agent. Does that make sense? And so what I have a feeling, because if that was your original, if that was their original reaction, you made them feel like you're trying to get richer versus trying to help a friend build a business. So my underlying thing is make sure that you're doing more than just stamping for them. It's like, hey, you know, me and my wife are going to grab a drink this weekend or we're going to go check out the play. Start making a more of a personal relationship. Then the referrals become natural. Does that make sense? So it, it, maybe you're doing that, but if you're, you're not doing it well enough. That's yeah. the answer yeah. if that's the reaction you got. So the coaching is go deeper on that part of your relationship. Does that make sense? Yeah, because I for sure that I just – so I just feel like, if, 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 like you said, if it's me who feels like what I said was kind of sleazy and salesy, yes. you know, then 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 for sure, my your your the mindset that you're talking about is kind of where I approach it from, and it's not what I what I intended. It's not obviously. right. And the only reason, that, in my opinion, and you're only giving me bits and pieces here, but in my opinion, the very macro answer is the reason she got that feeling is because you haven't built a personal relationship with her yet. Yeah. And so make sure you're a year and a half in on your business you're more in the relationship growing and then eventually you're going to get into the relationship management phase. So like where I'm right now in my business with my signing services, I'm just maintaining relationships that I've built going to, you know, going to Christmas parties, inviting to my Christmas party, things like that. Right. I mean, you need to start building a relationship by building an authentic personal relationship. The biggest mistake signing agents like you make, and I don't mean to call you out like that, but I'm saying you in general is, you know, you guys tend to try to build a business relationship versus a personal relationship. Meaning you'll go, you'll drive to San Diego for 150 bucks. That's building a business relationship. And you're less focused on the personal. It's like, oh, it's Friday. I'm going to hang out with my boys versus like, hey, how do I bring them in and really create a relationship? And by the way, business becomes more enjoyable when you're working with friends. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I, I'm very, be very blatantly honest with you. I've had a one too, one too many drinks with the client before. And then for the next week, we're like, that's the conversation. You know what I mean? But we're building real relationships there. And I'm not trying to say that's the only way to do it, <laughs> but I'm trying to give you an example of like, turn the business into personal. And then the referrals become less, I'm sleazy and more like, hook your boy up. You know what I mean? Right. Now I'm gonna end with that coaching. Hopefully that hit home a little bit. You know, the best way to do a referral is simply asking if they can put you on an email with somebody, you know? And so I don't know how you did the referral, but be like, hey, you know, I'm always trying to look to expand and grow. Is there any way that you can put me on an email with somebody to kind of just give me an introduction? Um, you got to position the referral as them helping you. You know what I mean? Like, look, I'm trying to work a little bit. I'm trying to work less. I'm trying to spend more time with my family. I don't know if you have kids. You know what I mean? If they, if you use the referral, which is the truth of helping your personal life, then usually the referral comes easier. Like, look, I'm trying to expand my business so I can see my kid's soccer game more. Who doesn't want to help you with that? You see what I'm saying? So try to turn the referral into more of a personal angle than just a money angle. And the referral usually becomes lands better than I'm just trying to make more money, right? I'm trying to spend, spend more time with my family. And hopefully those are true. So don't be manipulative, yeah. but try to figure out how you can angle it more to personal growth than a financial growth. And the referrals usually come easier. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Cool. I'm going to end with this, dude. Um, focus on the personal side of your relationships. 
focus less on the on the business side because it sounds like you've done that but now let's really take your business to the next business personal level and you know a lot of people go well is it is it is it so is it a is it appropriate to create a personal relationship yes because business is personal and, and that's a very old school way of thinking of trying to delineate per business and personal. Their lines have blended. This is 2021. And the signing agents who really blend it, it's like me with you students. You know, I'm an open book. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm not trying to create just a bit. I'm trying to be, I'm, I'm, we're homies. Yeah, sure. so the point I'm trying to say is do that also with your clients and you'll see your business almost grow naturally versus you needing to ask. That makes sense? Yeah. Cool. Hey, dude, I'm proud of you, brother, man. You know, if you need anything else, hit me up in the DMs. Mark, appreciate right, it, brother. You're right. Uh, what I think the biggest takeaway from the conversation with Sean is this idea that we cannot be, we cannot have personal relationships in business. It's a very old school mentality to believe that you cannot make business personal. And so your job as you start growing relationships is to be authentic and real. Does that make sense? I know a couple of you guys are asking for the coupon code cyber 2021. I only have one sale a year. I will, I do everything that the NNA doesn't do. I love the NNA. I speak at their conferences. They speak at my conference. Um, I teach you the marketing part, the business part, the business side of how to run a business. Just because you have a certification does not mean signings fall from the sky. I teach you how to build businesses. And that's what I try to do every single Monday. I hope you're enjoying this. You want to get the six-figure course, especially at the discounted rate. Today is the last day of the Cyber 2021 sale that I have every single year. Only one. Only one. I'm so excited everyone's here on this. Let's go through one more coaching call right now. Roz has been there for a minute. Roz, are you there? Roz, are you there? Okay, Roz declined. I, I don't know why she declined, but let me go to someone else who's been sitting there on there for a while. Um, Q to sign. Let's get Q to sign on there. Uh, Q to sign, are you there? Hello, I'm so excited to be here. Happy holidays, everybody. Thank you so much for the well wishes for my leg. I am uh, about two and a half, three weeks post-op. Getting better every single day, baby. Uh, what's up, girl? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so tell me your name, tell me where okay. you're from, and let's get to coaching. Let's go. Okay, my name is Kiana Petty, and I'm from LA. Awesome. And I've been a notary, a loan signing agent since September. Took the NNA course in yours, which is amazing, I must say. Thank you. Um, so here's my question. I've signed up. I have quite a few under my belt. I actually have one direct. My very first signing was a direct, with it, which is like so weird and odd. But I noticed with Snapdocs, I'm not getting any notifications. Okay. I'm verified. Everything's there. I just want to make sure. Like, I, well, okay. you know, look, the first thing I'll tell you is there's ebbs and flows to every business, okay? okay? The signing services that you use might be slower. Like, you know, a lot of signing agents have this, the sky is falling because, you know, <laughs> notifications have slowed down. I'm like, dude, every business in America has ebbs and flows. Like, right. oh, next topic. So, right. again, I don't know if that's your case. I'm going to continue coaching. But the first coaching is realizing we have ebb and flows. Thinking that notifications aren't going to slow down is kind of like thinking that the sun's gonna, not going to go down. Like, but they've like stopped. Okay. Like, so, I don't get about, any, so, so that made me nervous. Yeah. So let's talk about a couple things. You know, first thing is getting you in the right mindset about ebbs and flows. And, and, and remember, I mean, the, the algorithms know where you live. Maybe you're part of town. The signing services that used you are slow on your part of town. Like there's a lot of outside factors outside okay. of you. First, I'm not trying to coach on. Okay. Number two, coaching. I'm trying to give you as much coaching as I can. Um, not every point's going to relate to you. I just want to give you macro coaching. Of course. Uh, number two is, you know, remember this. Let's not live on Snapdogs, girl. You right. got signing order, Notary Dash, Snapdogs, Notary Cafe. Make, you know, a lot of signing agents hang your hat on Snapdogs. And I'm like, dude, signing order is just as amazing. Okay. So right. make sure that you're signing up with Snapdogs. Number three is make sure you sign up with every single signing service on the list. New si signing agents, for some reason, feel like the only way to get business is by s just waiting for their name to be called. Like, I give you 300 signing services. Make sure you sign up with all 300. I did not say 150. I did not say 200. I said 300. Okay. Yes. Number four, you have a ton of business you've done already to this point. Why? Maybe you have. I'm giving macro coaching. Mm -hmm. But my guess is is that, you know, you're not sitting there calling up every signing service you've done business with. Like, why not? You've proven to done 
you've proven it in flawless signings with them in the past. Yes. Or you wouldn't be here. So why don't you be like, hey, this is Kiana. You know, I worked with you last week, so I'll make sure that any signings in my area. I'd love to work with you again. Like, why are you only relying on the algorithms for your stream of business? Remember, you're a business owner. You're not trying to win the lottery. Right. A lot of signing agents are like, oh, my phone's not ringing. I'm like, well, dude, go get it ringing. So the way you go get it ringing, Kiana, is by looking at your customer list. Okay, I've done 25 closings with 25 different signing services. Let me call them up. Let me ask them, let them know that I'm available, willing, and able. Like you're trying to win the lottery. You're not trying to build a business yet. You know what right. I mean? So right. the number one, the difference between loan signing system students, Kiana, and everybody else is everyone else waits for the phone to ring. Like stop, especially you, because you have previous work history with signing services. So why don't you call them up and be like, yo, Right, and then let me give you a bigger piece of coaching. Okay. Is a lot of times signing agents, so everyone hears me on this. A lot of times signing agents are reactive instead of proactive. proactive. Here's what you should have done before you became slow. Is you should have like Thanksgiving was last week. Were you sending Thanksgiving cards to all the signing services who fed you business? I sent not all, but I actually did do that last week. Okay. So not all, cool. but I did. Yes. So my point is, is you know, if you because Thanksgiving could have been a good excuse to get on the phone. Like, hey, I'm just calling us a happy Thanksgiving. I'm a notary down in LA. Thank you so much. Hey, by the way, a lot of signing agents taking weekends off, the holidays, your girl isn't. You had an excuse to call them. That's being proactive. Right. A lot of people go like, now my phone's ringing, now what? I'm like, dude, it's almost shooting yourself in the foot with the now what? Right. Does that make sense? So hopefully business is all about lessons. So you don't ever make actions when the business is slow. You always take action so the business never comes slow. Got it. You I hear like me on thing. that, okay? Yes. So, you know, what I hear is assigning agents who reactive to the market versus being proactive before the market has slowed. Because we're always gonna be up and down. Your goal is to have a big relationship built during the down so this doesn't happen again. So yes. I, I want this also to be a lesson to your future business growth of like, look, I should have used, because guess what's coming up? Christmas. Christmas. So why don't we use Christmas as a reason to reach out and have conversations? Because sometimes when you go, when you call someone up, I want to hear this. When you call someone up to ask for business, you're less likely to get business than when you call someone up just to call someone up. Mm. So, so Christmas like, time hey, being the Skiana, holiday. I just want to wish you, Skiana, I just want to wish you a Merry Christmas. That's it. I, right. I, that's it. Hey, dude, I just want to say thank you for all the freaking bitches you've been giving me. You're the best. Have an amazing holiday. Click. Okay. Now they're like, yo, that person didn't ask me for business. Like, that's who you want to do business with. Does that make sense? Definitely. Definitely. So, you know, my biggest thing is, look, markets go up and down. Your notification can be slowing down just because the market in your area is maybe because the signing agents that use, the signing services that have used you in the past don't have signings. And they're like, look, I'm in San Diego. Mm -hmm. Some months I get a ton of freaking business in L.A., Sometimes right. I don't. That's not a knock against my signing agents who aren't getting notifications from me. It's, it's not like I'm not loving them. It's like at right. this moment, my loan officers in San Diego who do an LA business have slowed down. The holidays, you know, the three officers that I do business with in LA took the month off because of the holiday. Like there's so many different factors, right? Okay. To blame it on yourself is is an actually a scarcity <laughs> mindset. So it's right. another thing I want to keep. So, it's not your fault. Your job every day is to be proactive. Okay. That makes sense? Like Definitely. every day you gotta be proactive. Like what can I do to build a relationship? What can I do to say thank you? What can I do to show gratitude? If you're always in that mindset, you ideally have very few slow times. But okay. then what happens is during the slow times, you get desperate. And so they can sense the desperation on the phone. You mm -hmm. won't have the conversations before you get desperate. That's mm -hmm. why you need to be proactive and not reactive. Because Perfect. now your conversation is going to sound a little bit different, Kiana, because you're out of place. It's like, oh, my God, it's slow, it's slow. Versus just like, yo, this is your girl. I'm so thankful. Does that make sense? Definitely. So make sure that you're always proactive, not reactive. Sky's not falling. I'm going to end with this, okay? Yes. It's time to go direct. I agree. So if it's slow, there's no such thing as slow times. Right. There's signing times and there's marketing times. So maybe the universe has slowed down the notifications so you actually have time to go mm -hmm. market direct. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Definitely. So think about what's being presented for you and how you can best take advantage of the moment to get more business. Not, this has happened to me, the sky's falling, because that's your mindset right now. 
Yes. You're like, market, slow down. I'm like, girl, all I hear is now you have time to market direct. Because right. when it's busy, guess what you don't have time to do? Market direct. Right. Now, I just want to say thank you. My 19-year-old my sees what I'm doing, and I paid for him for his course with your Monday sales. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. It's amazing. I appreciate it. Oh, girl, it. I'm, so, I'm, I'm so proud of you for saying that, by the way. Of course. It's he's so excited. He, he sees me doing it, and he's like, wait a minute. He's like, I'm interested. What is that? I'm like, perfect. You're 19. This is a great what time Let's for you go. to start. You should so. network with some of our 20-somethings in the group. We got them all over. Um, Definitely. You know, look, I mean, my only coaching, I'm going to end with this, is just mindset. It's just a little bit more of like, I got time. Because when you're busy, you don't have time to market direct. Right? And so it should be, look, I have nothing to do today. This is the perfect opportunity to go get some goodie bags, say the script, and go out. I mean, you're an LA girl. There, You should be 10 grand a month. Remember, the signing agent that makes more money than you is not better than you. They've just told more people they're a signing agent than you. Let that sink. The signing agent is not better than Kiana, but nobody can call you if they don't have your phone number. So what's your job? Get my phone number out there and market, market, market. That's Go it, direct. Right. Go direct. Go get them. I appreciate you so much, okay? Thank you. I appreciate Bye. this. I no, needed you're this. So Thank welcome. you. Uh, my biggest takeaway from the conversation with Kiana is realizing, again, there's no such thing as busy days and slow days. It is marketing or doing signing. Sometimes when it's slow is the best thing for your business because when you're because when you're busy, you don't have time to slow. You cannot transition out of signing service business if all you're doing is signing service business. So sometimes when the market is slower, that's your opportunity to see. See, the problem is with notaries and entrepreneurs is a lot of time opportunity knocks, but we don't answer the door. And it's a, you know, Mark, it's slow. Okay, cool. Use this time to go direct. Does that make sense? So instead of seeing it like, oh my gosh, the sky is falling, like, oh my gosh, I have opportunity to go build direct relationships. I hope everybody enjoyed today. Remember, I only have one sale a year. Cyber 2021, any of my courses, if you're a loan signing system student and you don't have the conference series, what are you doing? Learn from Bill Zanugo, Robin Schmidt, Laura Desaudry, Kim Sinnott. They all teach how they built their six-figure businesses. Click the link in my bio, Cyber 2021. Remember, the moment you think you know everything is the moment your competition passes you. Be blessed. Thank you so much for being part of the Loan Signing System community. Go out and get them. Bye, everybody.